Hello everyone and welcome to today's video which is not going to have to do much with the Nürburgring but with the fact that there's a very exciting or a very special car came out for the next 10 years but again nothing to do with the Nürburgring namely Ferrari F80 not SF80 or F90 there is already SF90 does it make SF90 better than F80 because because in traditionally when you add S to certain things or numbers are higher, one thing should be better than the other, makes very little sense. No, today we're going to be also configurating the car because configurator went live. Not that it matters because uh, all of them are have been allocated already. And as of today, I cannot afford one anyone. So therefore, also what I'm about to say should not matter or be relevant. Um, but I will give some opinion on this particular car. First of all, the powertrain, most importantly, because us petrol heads, we do love numbers and the car has a V6. V6 on itself is not a bad thing because 296 with the V6 is amazing. It's one of the best cars you can probably buy right now. Also 2023 and 24, 24 hours of Nürburgring winner, fantastic challenge cars. So it is great. but. For a Halo car, for such an exciting car, I know it's derived from WEC, it's producing 900 horsepower of its own, but it feels kind of wrong, especially since I don't think we can use the, the what's it called, the argument of that we need to be sustainable and etc. etc. when Bugatti is presenting a completely brand new developed V16, when Ferrari still has v12s in its lineup even their suv has a v12 and here you have just a v6 of course performance is great but i do believe that hypercar owners and i know a few of them do prefer the emotional aspect that's why we have the gma that's why we have also bugatti koenigsegg uh, really uh, uh, valkyrie high revving engines and then there is this of course still high revving 9200 50 rpm or something but it feels weird to have a v6 it's like when jaguar came out with a xj220 they promised the v12 then it was a v6 i don't know anyway uh again doesn't matter because i cannot afford one right now but i'm just giving you my opinion the same goes for the design i am not completely excited it's a beautiful car don't get me wrong it's nice but overall it looks like an updated sf90 SF90 successor, maybe. It has some nice, beautiful lines, but it's not like, pff, oh my God, that's a hypercar. It's like something really different. It has lots of nice references to the F40, to the F50 even, and to other cars, the Daytona, of course. But it's not really like, yeah, it's not Halo hypercar for me personally. I would much rather prefer that I would hate the car because it's too much, because then it really like sparks emotion, something that it should be. But in this case, it's just like, yeah, okay, like, cool. Like, I, I'm not even a hater. I'm just like, it doesn't do anything to me. The same goes for the interior. Like the dials, like the climate control features is just like, again, touchscreen and like, meh. One thing that I do like, however, actually the and that's like a very funny one the front tire size 285 yeah because quite often nowadays still many supercars have still bicycle tires on the front and it just makes them understeer like crazy 1050 horsepower sorry 1050 kilograms of downforce at 250 kilometers per hour i believe i don't know how many people will actually experience that because i have not seen many la ferraris out on track except for power slide lover we will see some of those on track maybe most likely we will see some Corsa Cliente XX versions that are there going to be to follow let's do some configuration right all right so we have default configuration red of course or the aluminium lucido is it lucid mm, no it's something else Bianco Italia reminds me of the SF90 even more because that was like the SF90 launch color the white one that's like a full shmi spec with the with the blue one Yellow I like, green it's too British I would almost even say, uh, some other red and other red and some olive, this gives me like GD3 touring vibes I would say. 
I would go for yellow because it's still like traditional Ferrari, but uh, a bit different other than the traditional red. Will my configurator load? Because I would, it would be really nice to load it. Or will it not load because, oh no, there we go, loading. Maybe too many people are actually overloading the website right now. All right, the paintwork is called, we have a special, we have choice from the standard, the historical, the classic, special and matte. Hi Matt, I'm Misha, how are you? Hmm. Actually, speaking of Matt, I saw that Carwow was not really impressed, or maybe it's a clickbait video, but uh, I think they're the same like me, maybe a bit not me. Anyway, we go for the yellow paintwork. What else can we do? Add door numbers, yes, because we are racing. 24, that's probably 2024, and I guess you can change any kind of number you want. I would go for 27, because Never Cream was built in 1927. Uh, let's go numbers on sides and bonnets. Yes, we go full spec because why not? All right, we have two fantastic numbers. Well, three actually. Livery. Rosa Corsa livery plus choice of color. Giallo Modena livery plus choice of color. Black livery plus choice of color. Argento Nürburgring livery. Nürburgring. What do we get? We get two stripes. Because every E36 on the Nürburgring has two stripes. That is... Why? Is that what the, the 296 of Riccadelli was running? Not even that. Well, why, what does it have to do with Nürburgring? I wonder how much Ferrari has paid in copyright and trademarking for... Or we go for a single racing stripe, yes. No, I'm really, really trying to see. There is certainly like some, maybe like 1950s, 1960s, or maybe like 70s with Niki Lauda that has a reference to why it's called the Nürburgring. Uh, but I'll go for blue. Let's go for, for full IKEA Swedish spec. Like it's like yellow and blue. That, 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 that's kind of nice. Rims. Of course, I would go for carbon fiber wheel. Yes, full carbon fiber wheel. That's another point of mine. Again, not that I can afford one, but those wheel design, it doesn't do much. It's really not exciting. I mean, carbon fiber wheels is great, but nowadays it's not even crazy. Even the Mustangs of five years ago had carbon fiber wheel option. Koenigsegg did it more than a decade ago, which with a bit more interesting. I'm gonna get so canceled by Ferrari, but guess what? I got nothing to lose. I never got invited to a Ferrari event. I'm still having a great life. So I'm not worried here. Tires, let's go for high performance tires. There's no option for winter tires. So that makes me very sad. This means this car is not Eiffel spec and probably power slide lover is going to have very tough time in the winter of not running his Ferrari in the winter. Calipers. Uh, let's go for matchy matchy yellow. Is that yellow? It is gold. Mm, no, that's too rice. Let's go matchy yellow, because why not? Carbon fiber details. Up and bonnet. Okay, we already have it. Inchiostro from carbon insert. Okay, whatever that is. Carbon fiber full body. You can go for full carbon fiber. That's actually cool. Gonna be probably 1 million euro extra option. Um, but I think I want to keep normal. Gloss carbon fiber spoiler support, rear spoiler and carbon fiber. Let's do that. Um, let's see how it's gonna look like. Three, two, one. It actually looks horrible. Gives me Mansori vibes. Um, let's keep it. Because flamboyant YouTubers back. Matte finish for exterior carbon elements. That's actually cool. I like that. You can go either gloss or um, or matte. Carbon fiber lower part. We already have that. Carbon fiber outer mirrors. Full BMW M3 spec. Let's do that. Ferrari logo and details. Yes, we definitely want to have it airbrushed. Can we have also fender shields? Oh no, you can do or or. Well, we'll go for full lightweight spec. We're gonna go for airbrushed. Sure. We're moving on to the interior. Okay, so we have blue seat. I think that's, again, matching Swedish spec. Uh, what? No, I don't want that. Or should we go for Civic Type R red? 
Yeah. 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 No. We go for blue. Let's keep it real. Um, carpets color. Lower zone in Alcantara. Yes. Okay. Whatever that means. Here we can have a look again while we're looking at the interior spec. What I refer to that I'm not completely impressed. Then again, it doesn't matter what I think because I'm not the owner of one car. But the interior is kind of really like bland. It's like, okay, we'll have the gear selector. We have the climate control features. The steering wheel option. Um, what do we have? The indicators traditionally where the Ferrari indicators are. We have the phone button. Of course, you and all the other stuff it's um, yeah i mean uh seats seats type okay let's go for a bucket seat seat type standard seat or special let's go for special 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 w what's changing Ooh. ah so stitching is nowadays special when you have like stitching in the in the middle, that's special. At least they're calling it special, not speciale. Um, no, that, that that's kind of sad. I'm sure if you pay more, it's going to be okay. Safety belts. We go, of course, for four point harnesses. Why four? Why not six? Um, that's kind of weird. I also don't understand what's happening with this like passenger seat, which is not really a seat, but more just a headrest. But uh, I'm sure there's some, some something was uh, explained in press release. But the fact that it's four point and not a six point, I guess you would have to buy an XX car if you want a six point. Regardless, Alcantara colors. Let's go for yellow or something. What does it even change? Oh, it only changes like those thingies. What's it even called? The shoulder specials thing. Um, yeah, let's leave it there. Inner details, yeah, that's this. Stitching, because stitches get you... Stitches, yeah. Yellow Cavallino, okay. Stitching on best weight seat bolster. Stitching on best weight seat bolster. What? What does that even mean? No one knows what it means, but it's provocative. Makes people going. I guess. Whatever that means, honestly. Uh, we're moving on to seat type where I did. Lower and upper cockpit. Um, can we do different in Alcantara? We can, but I want to have a just normal black to not be distracting from everything happening around me. Steering wheel. Yes, of course we want Alcantara. Mm, I wonder if it has a steering wheel heating. Because otherwise that would be very sad if it doesn't. No, let's go for Alcantara. Or was it already selected? Hmm. Okay, so infotainment. Yes, absolutely. We want my Ferrari Connect not activated. Why is there even such an option? I don't get it. Passenger display, yes. So we can do some laps on the ring and passenger can actually look ahead of him um, and see what kind of speeds we're doing. Connectivity for smartphone, it's 2024, sure. For wireless, smartphone wireless charger. I wonder where you're gonna put your phone, but uh, I'm sure there's going to be some nice location. Okay, so steering wheel done, infotainment we're done, driving, suspension lifter, of course. Uh, front and rear parking cameras, kind of handy with such a car. AFS system, whatever that is, but yeah, all the options. Garage door opener. No, I'm gonna leave my car parked outside. We're gonna leave it there. Um, I don't have a garage anyway. Spent all my money on the uh, SF90, I wanted to say. Okay, what else we have? Anti-theft. Who wants to steal such a car? What are you gonna do with it, honestly? But sure, let's do Range Rover SVR system with card. Um, safety, yeah. Fire extinguisher, because it's a Ferrari after all. Let's tick that box, 100%. And what else do we have? Functionality, I want my car to be definitely functional. So, passenger, oddment, net, whatever that is. Full anti-stone chipping. And it's 
It's getting very loud because Jimmy Brabant is in the house. But he, come in, we're, we're, I'm specking my Ferrari now. And oh, yeah. look at that. Jimmer, show us what you got. This is what um, normal people do. They get pizza, they don't because spec Ferraris. Ferrari. <laughs> Not pista, but pizza. What do you have? <gasps> Margarita. Mm. That's Fantastic. Fun. That's my little plain one. That, that, that's yours. I'm gonna finish this video and then we're going to eat some that's it. Okay, I guess let me know in the comments below what you think of my spec, what do you think of the car, and um, that's kind of it. And well, let, let's look around it actually. Let me just close this. I want to like turn around in 3D, 3D spec. Yeah, this 3D spec. Oh, look, Steve, can say hello because we were like, oh, what the hell? Mm, it's no F87 M2, is it? No, actually, I think BMW did F80 better than Ferrari did. Yeah. <laughs> BMW F80 M3. F87 BMW M2, that's what you need. Also, or that, yes. Yeah, a bit cheaper as well. Yeah. With a Vulcan Alpha wing, obviously. Oh, oof. Yeah, okay, well, configurator is doing something weird. I'm going to eat my pizza. Um, I don't like the mesh in the front bumper as well. Cool. For next 10 years, I'm never going to get invited to any Ferrari event. Sad.